like to invite and welcome the author of the resolution and our only Central American elected official, El Chapin Iwenga Guatemalteco, Supervisor of District yeah. 9, La Misión, David Campos. Thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias, Larissa. Thank you, Larissa. I want to I wanna say that I'm very touched by the fact that so many of you are here today. And I'm especially touched to see so many of the families with the kids that are here on the steps of the City Hall because the kids that we're talking about are kids just like the ones you see here, who are here with their parents. Quisiera agradecerles a todos ustedes por estar aquí. La verdad que me ha emocionado mucho ver esta presencia de esta comunidad tan grande, especialmente ver a las familias. Las familias con los niños, porque creo que es esos niños de los que estamos hablando. Los niños que miramos en estas gradas de, del ayuntamiento son la casa de niños que están, que están uh, sufriendo esta tragedia. You know, for me, it's a very personal issue because I myself came to this country as an undocumented child. I crossed the border, I went from Guatemala through Mexico to the United States. And it was a very horrible experience, very scary experience. But I was lucky that I was coming with a parent to go through that ordeal. And I can only imagine how challenging it must be for a child much younger than I was, 14, for a child who is six, seven, eight, nine, by himself, by herself, going through that, through that route of going through Central America, Mexico, and then crossing that border, what they're exposed to on a daily basis. Para mí eso es, eso es algo personal porque yo vine aquí como un niño indocumentado y fue una, una experiencia muy difícil para mí, muy peligrosa, una experiencia que ha tenido un efecto en cómo yo miro uh, la vida. Pero yo tuve suerte que Esa experiencia tan difícil que fue, por lo menos yo tenía a un padre conmigo en esta experiencia. Y estamos hablando de niños de 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 años que, que están yendo por esa experiencia solos. Nos podemos imaginar el peligro al que se pone. So for me, this resolution is about doing two things. One, sending a very clear message that the city and county of San Francisco is on record saying what is happening, the way that our country is dealing with this tragedy is shameful. Yeah. It is simply shameful. shameful. That's right. The United States of America is better than this. We are. If the conditions that we see and how these kids are being treated, where they're being housed, if these conditions were happening anywhere else in the world, we as a country would be denouncing those nations and saying that is wrong. And the fact that it is happening in 2014 in the wealthiest country in the world, it is simply sad. We are better than that. So San Francisco needs to be on record saying, shame on us, we must do better for these kids. And the second thing that this does is that it's not enough for us as a city to denounce what's happening. We have to commit ourselves to being a part of the solution. The city of St. Francis cannot look the other way and let this justice stand. That's why this resolution makes it clear that we are committing not only in word but in resources to be a part of the solution. Esta resolución hace dos cosas muy importantes. Primeramente, Pone en pie en récord la ciudad de San Francisco diciendo que lo que está pasando en la frontera es algo, es una vergüenza para este país. Si las condiciones que estamos viendo estuvieran ocurriendo en otra parte del mundo, este país estuviera denunciando a esa parte del mundo y diciendo esto es una injusticia. El hecho que está pasando en este nuestro país, el país más rico del mundo, simplemente es una vergüenza. Y como americano, como americanos tenemos que decirle a nuestro propio gobierno, no es justo y tenemos que cambiar la situación. Segundamente, segundamente esta resolución, aparte de denunciar lo que está pasando, también nos compromete como ciudad, no solamente de hablar, 
pero de hacer algo. Nos compromete a que podamos usar los recursos de esta ciudad de San Francisco para poder ser parte de esta solución. So I ask my colleagues on the Board of Supervisors, and you're going to hear from some of them here, to pass this resolution unanimously today at the Board of Supervisors. And we want to work with the mayor and all the city agencies to make sure that San Francisco becomes the model for how a country should respond to the plight of these children. I want to thank, I want to thank so many of you that have been a part of this solution. I want to thank my colleagues on the Board of Supervisors, Supervisor Avalos, Supervisor Mark, Supervisor Kim, Supervisor Yi, and you're going to hear from...